नमस्ते फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल फ्रेंड्स इन सम ऑफ माय प्रीवियस वीडियो आई हैड शोन यू माय बो इयर दिस इज माय बो इयर एंड माय बो नेकलेस हियर इज द बो नेकलेस टू मैच माय बो इयर रिंग्स इन टर्कोइज कलर एंड इन टुडे इस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू द मैचिंग ब्रेसलेट फॉर दिस ब्यूटिफुल बो नेकलेस सो हियर आई हैव ऑलरेडी मेड दिस bow bracelet in turquoise color to match my necklace in turquoise color let me show you one more color way this is my bow bracelet in amethyst color to match my bow necklace in amethyst color and these are the matching earrings for this necklace I will drop the link of the necklace and the earrings in the description box please do check out the link for these earrings and the necklace to make the complete set and in today's video I am going to show you the matching necklace for this beautiful emerald green bow necklace so let us see what all material do we need to make our bow bow bracelet in this combination of emerald green and white friends for making our bow bracelet in emerald green color we are going to use these 6 mm pearls in white color and 4 mm pearls again in white color then i'm going to use these super duo beads in sued light green color here i'm using these round tails these are these are 2 by 3 mm round tails in emerald green color then i'll be using these seed beads these are 11 oz these are muki dura coat galvanized champagne 11 oz and these are 15 oz again in the same color these are muki dura coat galvanized champagne 15 oz here i'll be using the lobster clasp you can use any clasp of your choice i'll be working with muki thread and size 12 bearing needle so let's get started friends for making the bracelet i have taken about 8 feet long thread and now I have picked up these beads, six mm pearl, one eleven or champagne, three four mm pearls, and one eleven or champagne. And after picking up these beads, I am bringing these down till the midway of my thread, leaving of a leaving about three feet tail of my thread like this. You can see. So here I have brought this. in the mid of my thread leaving about 6 feet sorry 3 feet long tail and now here i'm tying a double knot like this so here After leaving a tail of about three feet, I'm left with five feet long thread in my needle, and we will be using this thread, this five feet long thread, to make our center part of the bow bracelet and one side of it. So here you can see after tying the knot, right now I'm exiting through this eleven o champagne, and now stepping up. Into the six mm pearl, pulling the knot in between here. I'm again picking up an eleven o champagne and three four mm pearls. And one more eleven o champagne. like this i have picked up these five beads going back into the six mm pearl like this stepping up into the 11 of champagne of the first set of pearls and 11 of champagne that i added here now here After exiting through this eleven o champagne, now 
stepping up into the first 4 mm bird and now I'm picking up two super duo beads into the 4 mm bird into the second bird picking up two super duo beads back into the bird into the third bird again picking up two super duo beads and into the third bird down through the 11 o and into the 6 mm bird so here you can see the look after adding the super tours and now stepping up into the 11 o champagne of the set on the other side and i'll be adding the super tours as i have done here on this side and come back and here after adding this last pair of super duos down through the 11 o and into the 6 mm pearl like this stepping up into the 11 o champagne of the first side this is the same component that we have made in our bow earring. So here as I'm exiting through this 11 or champagne, I'm picking up one 11 or champagne, one 2 by 3 mm brown tail and one 11 or champagne. These three beads and into the bottom hole of the first super duo. Picking up one 15 or champagne into the second super duo. Now, after adding the 15 of champagne, I'm picking up one round tail into the bottom hole of the third super duo. Again, picking up one 15 of champagne into the bottom hole of the next super duo. The fourth one, one round tail into the bottom hole of the fifth super duo. One 15 of champagne into the bottom hole of the sixth super duo and now picking up three beads 11 o champagne round tail and 11 o champagne down into the 11 o champagne and into the 6 mm pearl like this so this is the look after completing this round on one side now stepping up into the 11 o champagne on the other side i am going to add the round tails and 15 o's in the same way as i have done here i'll be completing this side and come back and here i have added 15 o's and round tails on the other side also and after adding the last side right now i'm exiting through this 11 o champagne now i'm going to push these 15 o's on the front on the top here so this will be the front side of our bow component and as i'm exiting through this 11 o champagne i'm stepping up into the two 11 o's and the round tails the adjacent one here and now picking up one four mm pearl and into the top hole of the super duo bead, the first super duo bead. Now picking up one super duo into the second super duo bead, picking up one four mm pearl into the third super duo bead one super duo bead into the fourth 
super duo bead one four mm pearl into the fifth super duo bead one super duo bead into the sixth super duo bead and the four mm pearl down into the round tail and the next two elevenings like this now stepping up into the adjacent set of beads the elevenos and the round tails so here i'm exiting through the round tail and i'll be adding the pearls and super two in the same way as i've done here to this side also so i'm going to complete this and come back and on this side i'm adding this last pearl down into the round tail and the first 11 of champagne next to the round tail like this up into the adjacent 11 of champagne the round tail like this into the 4 mm pearl and now I'm going to pick up 3 11 o champagne into the top hole of the super duo again picking up 3 11 o champagne into the pearl picking up 3 11 o champagne into the top hole of the next super duo so this way i'm going to add these 11 o's till i reach this pearl the last one here and here i'm adding my last set of 11 o champagne mm -hmm. like this down into the round tail and the 11 o champagne up through the adjacent 11 o champagne and the round tail into the 4 mm pearl and in the same way, I'm going to add these 11 o champagne on this side till I reach this pearl over here and come back. And here I'm adding the last set of 11 o's into the 4 mm pearl down through the round tail like this up through the round tail. The 11 of champagne and now i'm going to pick up 7 15 of champagne so these are 7 15 of 3 and 4 7 into the middle 15 of champagne on this side like this again picking up 7 15 or champagne 3 and 4 7 and into the 11 and the round tail like this into the round tail the adjacent round tail on the other side into the 11 o and here again i'm going to add the embellishment with these 15 o's on this side and come back like this i have added the embellishment on this side and after adding these i'm exiting through this 11 o champagne moving down into the round tail and now picking up one 15 o champagne up through the round tail and the 4 mm pearl 
like this. Stepping up into the three eleven o's, picking up three fifteen o champagne into the three eleven o's. Again, picking up three fifteen o champagne into the three eleven o's, picking up three fifteen o champagne. Into the eleven o's. So here we are adding the set of three fifteen o's around the top of the super duos and the pearls we have added on this side. And this is the last set of fifteen o's into the eleven o champagne. down into the 4mm pearl and the long tape. Like this. Picking up one fifteen o champagne up through the adjacent 15 o sorry adjacent long tape, the 4mm pearl and the 11 o's on the other side. I'll be adding 15 O's on this side as I have done here and come. And here I have added 15 O's on this side also. And after completing this, right now I'm exiting through this pearl down into the round tail and the 15 O champagne that we have added between the round tails up through the round tail and the Pearl, the 4mm pearl into the 11 holes, 15 holes, and the 11 holes into these 15 holes into the 11 holes, the 3 11 holes into the top hole of the super duo, the middle super duo, and into the 11 o champagne and here after exiting through this 11 o champagne i'm going to pick up the set of these beads 111 o champagne 6 mm pearl 111 o champagne 6 mm pearl 111 o champagne 6 mm pearl and 111 o champagne so here i have picked up the seven beads i'm bringing these down and Into this 11 o champagne, the first one and the top hole of the super duo. Like this. Into the 11 o champagne. And stepping up into the first 11 o champagne. Like this. After exiting through this 11 of champagne, I'm going to pick up 8 11 of champagne. So here I have picked up 4 and 4 8 11 o's into the 11 of champagne. The next one. Now I'm going to pick up 7 15 of champagne. Four and three seven into this next eleven of champagne. Bring these on the top, the fifteen o's. Just keep your thread nice and tight. Now again, picking up eight eleven of champagne. So these are four and four eight. Into this 11 o champagne, like this. Now, here I'm stepping up into the 15 o's added around the tip of the super duo. So I have stepped up into the first two 15 o's, exiting 
to the middle 50 you know and I'm picking up 450 you know champagne and I'm going to pass through the middle 50 you know of this set as we added 750 you knows here so fourth will be the middle 50 you know so here you're counting from this 50 you know one two three and four so this is the middle 50 you know the fourth one Like this, back into the 50 nose or the 450 nose, like this, into this 50 no and the next one, the middle 50 no and the next one. Up into five. 11 o's 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So here I have stepped up into 2, 3, 4, and 5. Here I have reached the center, the mid of this row of 11 o's. We added 2 with the pearl and 8 in between. So we have all uh, in all 10 11 o's here. So after 5, we have reached the mid, the center of this, uh, these 10 11 o's. So you can see 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. I have 5 11 o's on this side also. 1, 2, 3, 4. So we have 5 on both sides. 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 here. 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 on this side. So this is the mid here. I'm adding one 11 o champagne in the middle of these 11 o's. Down. Into this 11 o. Into these 15 o's. And again, I'm going to pass through 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, 11 o's to reach the middle of these 11 o's. So here into 1, 2, 3, 11 o's, 4, and 5. So you can see here also we I have one, two, three, four, five on this side, one, two, three, four, and five on the other side. Now again picking up one eleven or champagne down into the five eleven o's on the other side. Like this into the two fifteen o's. Down to this third fifteen o into these eleven o's beyond the pearl into the rest of these 11 o's to the 11 o and the 6 mm pearl this way. Now we are going to extend our pearl chain through this pearl, the 6 mm pearl over here. And for this, I'm going to pick up one eleven o champagne, four rondels, and one eleven o champagne. So here I have picked up the set of these six beads back into the 
six mm pearl like this stepping up into the eleven o and the three rondelles like this now after exiting through these little rondelles i pass through the first eleven o and the three rondelles so here i'm exiting through the third rondelle and i'm going to pick up three 11 o champagne one six mm pearl and three 11 o's like this i have picked up three 11 o's one six mm pearl and three 11 o's and going back into the middle rondelles the middle pair of rondelles like this just keep your thread nice and tight here stepping up into the three 11 or champagne into the 6 mm pearl you can also use 5 mm pearl here and if you are using 5 mm pearl then you need to add only two 11 o's with these pearls two on this side and two on this side you can see right now i'm adding three 11 o's on both the sides but if you are using five mm pearl you can use two on this side and two on the other so after exiting through this six mm pearl i'm going to pick up one 11 o champagne four rondelles and one 11 o champagne the set of these six beads back into the six mm pearl like this just hold your thread nice and tight here stepping up into the 11 o and the first three round tails like this exiting so the third round tail i'm picking up three 11 o champagne one six mm pearl and three 11 o champagne like this back into the center pair of front tails holding the thread nice and tight stepping up into the three 11 o's into the six mm pearl like this so this is the pearl chain that we are going to add on this side and on one side of our bracelet we are going to add about and in this bracelet we are going to add six pearl component as i have done here including this component this pearl that we, i have attached with this component including this pearl we go we are going to add one two three four five and six pearl and the round tail component in our bracelet and here i have added one and two i'll be adding four more and come back so here you can see i have added six pearl and round tail components counting from this one one two three four five and six and now after adding the sixth one right now i'm exiting through the pearl and I'm stepping up into the 11 o and the first three round tails. And I'm adding the last, that is the seventh pearl on this side. So I'm picking up 11 o's and the pearl, three 11 o's, six 11 pearl, and three 11 o's back into the middle pair of front tails stepping up into the 3 11 o champagne like this and into the 6 mm pearl like this and now after adding the last component that is the last pearl here i'm going to add the 
loop for my clasp. So as I'm exiting through this 6mm pearl, I'm picking up 8, 11 of champagne. So here I have picked up 4 and 4, 8, 11 o's. Back into the 6mm pearl like this. Stepping up into the first 4, 11 o's champagne. Picking up 1, 11 o's champagne. Down into the next Four eleven of champagne back into the pearl, stepping up into these four eleven of champagne and into the eleven of champagne, the middle eleven of champagne that I have just added, and now I'm going to pick up three eleven o's and the lobster clasp, so you can see. This is the front side of my wristlet. So this is the front here. So my clasp should be added like this. This opening part should be down like this. So here I have picked up these three 11 of champagne and I'm going to hold the clasp this way and into the clasp like this. Like this, again picking up 3 11 of champagne back into this 11 of champagne. You can check. So our clasp is this way. Now back into these 11 o's, stepping up into the first two 11 o's, picking up one 11 of champagne. And into the third 11 oh, the clasp, and the 11 oh, the first 11 oh on the other side, like this. Picking up an 11 oh champagne and down through these two 11 oh champagne, skipping the 11 oh at the bottom, moving up into these 11 oh's. The clasp and the eleven o's like this. Once again, moving into these eleven o's and the clasp just to strengthen the clasp here. As we have added 11 O's here, we can take about 4 to 5 passes just to strengthen the loop of our clasp like this. So here we have attached the clasp and I am exiting through this 11 O down into this 11 O at the bottom. into these 11 O's and now here I'm going to tie my knot between the 11 O and the pearl like this a double knot into the pearl back before going back into the 11 O's, tying one more knot to secure my thread. Like this. Up into the 11 O's. Down to these 11 O's. And now I'm going to cut my thread off. So here is one side of our bracelet, the center part and the 
bracelet the pearl chain on one side of the bracelet and now we are going to make the same pearl chain on the other side of our bracelet and for this we are going to use the tail that we have left in the beginning so first i'm going to thread, thread my needle with this tail and i have I threaded my needle with the tail and now You can see right now I'm exiting through the spur. So moving up into the 11 O's. The 11 O's and the round tail, the pearl, and the 11 O's. Into the three. 15 O's round hook through the 11 O's the 15 O's and into these three 11 O's Top hole of the super duo and the next 11 of shampoo like this. So here we have reached this point here. So here after reaching this side, I'm going to add the same pearl chain on this side, this component and the pearl chain with these components. The six component pearl chain on the other side and come back so here i have added on the other side this component with the center component and six pearl components counting from here one two three four five and six and after adding the sixth one right now i'm exiting through these round tails the third one here and i'm going to add my last that is the seventh pearl so I'm picking up three 11 O's, one 6 mm pearl and three 11 O champagne like this. Back into the center pair of front tail like this. Stepping up into these three 11 O's. And into the bird and now here we are going to add the loop for our clasp so as I'm exiting through this pearl I'm going to pick up eight eleven of champagne so four and four eight into the pearl like this stepping up into the first Four eleven or champagne, picking up one eleven or champagne down to the next four eleven o's back into the pearl, stepping up into the four eleven o's and the fifth one that we added in the center here. So here I'm exiting through this middle. 11 oh and i'm going to add the loops so i'm picking up six 11 o's so here i have picked up six 11 o's three and three six and into this 11 oh stepping up into the first two 11 o's Next two eleven O's down through the next two eleven O's into the bottom eleven O up through these two eleven O's 
Let me do 311 ohms. And now again, I'm going to pick up six in the nose, two and four six back into these two eleven nose. Now into the two eleven nose, down through the two eleven nose. Once again into the bottom two. 11 O's into these two 11 O's. Here I'm passing through two 11 O's at a time just to give it a bit of square shape. up into the top two 11 O's. Again, picking up six 11 O's. Three and three six, and into the pair of 11 O's. You can add as many loops as you want. I'm going to add three only. These two down through these two into these two at the bottom up through these two into these two at the top and now picking up. Two eleven O's, one six mm pearl, one fifteen O champagne. So I have picked up two eleven O's, one six mm pearl, one fifteen O champagne, bringing these down, skipping the fifteen O back into the six mm pearl, picking up two eleven O's once again. Now, after picking up these two 11 O's, back into these two, the center one at the top. Now, I'm going to move down into these two. Once again, into these two. Up through these two. These two and these two. Just see the shape of this circle. This loop here, then down to these two. To these two. Just as we do in rectangle weave stitch, you can see the shape we are getting after taking these many passes. Down through these two. These two at the bottom. One at the bottom, up through these two, these two. Now, here I'm tying a knot these two. Like 
this to the bottom 11 more down through these four 11 knots at the bottom once again i'm going to tie a knot here between the 11 knots and the pearl like this into the pearl back into the 11 knots down through these 11 knots and I'm going to cut my thread off just these 11 knots out here so just see the shape of our loops over here so these are the loops and this is our bracelet our bow bracelet in emerald green color so this is the bracelet that we have made you can see the look of this bracelet how elegant it looks and it fits very well on the wrist we have added these loops to adjust it according to the wrist just show you you can see the look of the bracelet on my wrist Get together with our bow necklace and the matching earrings the complete set you can see how gorgeous it looks and let us take a quick look over other colorways of the bracelets that i have made in this series the bow necklace set series so these are the three colorways in my bow bracelet and i hope you will enjoy making these bracelets and the complete set, the complete bow necklace set. And of course, wearing it and gifting it to your friends and families. So friends, if you like my designs and my tutorials, please do subscribe to my channel. And please don't forget to press the bell icon so that you may get notified when I'll upload my next videos. Thank you and Namaste.